The third order Taylor polynomial for the arc sine is t3 of x equals x plus 1, 6 x cubed, and a graph of the fourth derivative of the arc sine over the interval from minus 1, 1 is shown below. Use this to a, approximate the arc sine of 3 tenths, and b, to estimate the error of this approximation. So let's start off by taking care of part a first. Remember that arc sine is approximated by its Taylor polynomials, so the arc sine of x is about x plus 1 sixth x cubed. That means that the arc sine of 0.3 is going to be approximately 0.3 plus 1 sixth times 0.3 quantity cubed. So if we work that out, we're going to get uh, 0.3 plus 0.3 cubed is 0.027 over 6. And then if we crunch these numbers out here, this is going to be uh, 0 0.3045. And so there's our estimate, or there's our approximation. Now let's see how, uh, estimate how accurate this is. So note that the error is going to be within uh, plus or minus m4 over 4 factorial times a minus c to the fourth power, since we're approximating a third order Taylor polynomial. So that's plus or minus m4 over 24 is 4 factorial times a which is 0 0.3 minus c, which is the center of the series, and evidently that's 0 to the fourth power. And so if we clean that up, that's plus or minus m4 over 24 times 0.3 quantity cubed, and 0.3 uh, quantity, or sorry, quantity to the fourth power is going to be plus or minus 0 0.0081 over 24 times m4. Now we've got to work out what m4 is. Remember that m4 is the maximum value, plus or minus, of the fourth derivative of the arc sine function on the interval from the center 0 to the point, point 0.3 that we're approximating at. So that's from here to here on this graph. This portion of the graph is what we care about. And evidently that high point happens right there, about 4 on the graph right here. So. Uh, we're going to get that it's approximately 4 based on this graph right here. And I want to make sure that I overestimate it by a little bit so that my error is not uh, incorrect. So I'm going to overestimate it by 5. And when we do that, we're going to get plus or minus 0 0.00405. That's multiplying 81 by 5 divided by 24. And if we clean this up a little bit more with a calculator, that's plus or minus 0 0.0016875. And so there's our error estimate. Let's go one step further right here. Now that we have an approximation and estimate, uh, we can do something even cooler. We can actually figure out bounds on the real value of the arc sine of 0.3. We know that the, uh, the correct value of the arc sine is going to be smaller than the approximation plus the maximum amount of error. That's the worst we could be off. So the approximation was 0 0.3045, the error was 0 .00, uh, sorry, 0.00016875, and so if we add these two values together, we're going to get 0 0.3061875. That's the largest the arc sine of 0.3 could possibly be. On the other hand, we know that the arc sine is going to be larger than our approximation. Take away the error, the worst case error. That's the plus or minus part. So that would be 0 .30 uh, 28125, that's taking our approximation minus the error, and so we know that that's the lowest it could be. Therefore, the arc sine of 3 tenths is smaller than our upper estimate, which approximates is approximately 0 0.307, and larger than our lower estimate, which is approximately 0 0.302. So we have a range of values 